I have the perfect example of not only how you can create more photographs that excite you, but also how you can achieve better storytelling through your images while at the same exact time becoming the most productive photographer you've ever been. So I just returned home from an incredible 20 day journey running workshops through the Italian Dolomites and this, uh, this technique is something I worked on with the participants in just about every single location we took them to. And the best thing about this is that this is something that can be, I guess, easily replicated every single time you step outside to create photographs. So the next time you get to a location, give this technique a try. So this scenario here I'm gonna walk you through is something that I used to do absolutely all the time. This is kind of my go-to on location workflow. I see it time and time again on workshops. And this is what it is right here where you get to a beautiful location at sunrise. We were there, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes before the sunrise and everyone's getting everything set up. You, you can't really see in the dark too well, but you try and compose your photograph as good as you can. Then the sun's starting to slowly rise. And your ultimate goal is, is you're hoping that you're gonna get a lot of beautiful color in this sky here. You're hoping that you're gonna get that explosive sunrise, beautiful color in the overall sky. And that's exactly what we got in this scenario here. So as the sun was rising, taking images after images after images, one after another after another after another, until this color started to fade in the sky. Took a few more photographs and that was it. And ultimately was left with about 25 or 30 different versions of this photograph. And as you kind of go through them, the only thing that is changing is just the clouds in the sky and the amount of color in the sky. And this was my favorite one from this particular photograph or from this particular shoot. And all the, the images in this uh, this video, I just uh, edited in the, uh, the plane just literally last night. So none of them are completely edited yet, but the, the edit is kind of irrelevant to this discussion. It's more or less the process that is the most important. So this is all that I was able to capture in that particular, that particular session, which I absolutely love this image, but that was it. One single photograph. Now a different little mindset is this. So this is another photograph that we were that was taken a week later with the, uh, the second workshop group, completely different conditions, a little bit more for fall color right through here, a little bit of light on the mountain up top, uh, some nice low lying clouds moving in and out. And I like this photograph a lot too, but the big difference is this, is this, this thought track of creating story, this thought track of a storyboard, if you will. And if you're not familiar with exactly what a storyboard is, but a lot of times when uh, movie production companies are trying to pitch a movie to a production company, they create storyboards that ultimately tell the story that they are trying to portray through images. And I like to use that same kind of thought track of a storyboard to not only create more photographs, but to better tell the story. And it's an absolute game changer for me over the last few years. And the way it works is this. So you get to a location like this. Once again, we were here for sunrise. We showed up at this location once again, about 30 minutes before the sun rose. Went through the same process again, where you have your wide angle lens on. You wanna capture the entire scene and you're hoping that you're going to get that explosive sunrise or maybe that explosive sunset with all the beautiful color. So you have the wider focal length on to, to capture the entire scene in, in all of the sky. And unfortunately, well, I shouldn't say unfortunately, it was just different circumstances. We did not get the colorful sky, but we did get this beautiful low lying clouds kind of moving in and out, a little bit of fog, a little bit of mist. And this was a completely different scenario. So we captured this photograph right here with the group. And then as the sun rose, in the cloud or the sky started to get a little bit washed out, instead of just packing up our stuff and leaving, we started thinking about the storyboard idea. So we have the wide shot. And if you think about the wide shot as kind of the opening scene, this sets the stage, if you will, for the story that you are about to tell. In nine times out of 10, that uh, stage setting photograph is usually a wide angle image because you're trying to tell the overall uh, story of the overall location. You're setting the stage of the scene. So I like to think about this as the opening stage, the opening scene of the film or of the story that I am about to tell. Now, the next thing I like to do is to go ahead and you know take off the wide angle lens. The sky's not too uh, interesting anymore anyway. And instead of packing up and just leaving, how can I be more productive with my time? You know, the sun is still low on the horizon. It's not a lot of harsh light maybe. So what can we do? And this is where I like to put on a mid-range lens, starting to think about what's the next image that I can create that will complement the wide angle image that I first created. So put on a mid-range lens 
and was able to capture this right here. And basically just zooming in to this area right through here and just kind of waiting for these clouds to kind of blow in and out in a way that created even more atmosphere. And I was able to come up with this right here. And I absolutely love this image. I love the reflection, love the fall color, love the atmosphere. This image here has everything that I'm always looking for in a photograph. This checks off all the boxes right here. And I like to think of this second image is kind of the introduction of one of the characters in my scene or in the story that I'm trying to tell. And in this particular image, that character is this fall color and the clouds moving in and out. So this right here and this image here complement each other very, very well, especially when you put them right next to one another. And this is kind of where the story is starting to unfold. So we have the wide scene, which is setting the stage. We have a little bit tighter of a photograph, which is starting to introduce some of the characters in the scene. What's the next thing that we can do instead of just packing everything up and leaving once again? This is where I like to put on a longer focal length and try and find some of the most interesting details that complement those first two photographs. And I was able to come up with this right here. These canoes are one of the, the best, I guess, characters in this overall scene. Right through here, these canoes just kind of just, you know, arching out into the lake. You get sometimes you get some nice reflections of them right here. But this right here is, in my opinion, one of the main characters of this overall photograph. And I like to think of these telephoto details as the final, uh, the final character reveal, reveal, if you will. And when you put all three of these photographs together, they tell the complete story of the scene that you photograph right through here. And this, this kind of like wraps up the story, if you will. This concludes the story. So you're ultimately left with these three photographs right here. And let's come up here to library and let's, let's put them all together so you can see them. Come up here, let's, whoops, we'll hit this and right here. And these are the three images right here. And I think you would agree that when you look at all three of these photographs, this tells the complete story of this particular morning, of this particular location. We have the wide scene that we captured in the very beginning that has the sky. That sets the stage. Once the sky starts to become maybe not so interesting, maybe a little washed out, if there was any color in the sky, maybe it's gone. So now think about how, what some additional details we can create that, do, that no longer contains the sky. And then you put on that mid-range lens and you capture this right here. You're looking for a little bit of detail. Then you put on a longer focal length and you create this right here for even more detail. But when you put all three of these photographs together, this tells the complete story. So not only are you telling better stories with your photographs, you now increase your productivity from one photograph to three photographs that you really, really enjoy. And that's what I was saying to kick off this video. This is an amazing way to tell better stories because at the end of the day, in my mind, photography is nothing, nothing more than visual storytelling. So being able to tell better stories and being able to evoke some type of emotional response in the viewer to me is always my ultimate goal. So being able to achieve that through this technique is something that I have found extremely beneficial. And at the same exact time, able to create more photographs that I'm proud of. So instead of only capturing this photograph right here, which I love this image, it's beautiful, but it really doesn't tell a complete story of this particular location. Even though I got, you know, got a lot of the beautiful sunrise colors, it is, in my opinion, a beautiful image. But these images together right here, these three photographs, tells a much better story, in my opinion, a much more complete version of this morning that I spent in this beautiful location. So I think that this technique is absolutely one of the best things that I have ever done to my photography, creating more photographs that I am actually more proud of, and at the same time telling better stories. So this is something that I worked on with a lot of participants in the, uh, the workshops over the past couple of weeks, and I wanted to share it with, with you all here today. If you have any questions about this technique, please leave those in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to get back in touch with you as soon as uh, humanly possible. And as always, if you did enjoy this week's video, if you could, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And as always, I really do appreciate you carving out a little bit of time to spend it with me here today. And I will see you all next Wednesday. Bye.